about one in every 13 people in the UK have coronavirus. That's according to the latest estimates from the Office for National Statistics. They say it's the highest number since its survey began at the end of April 2020. Yeah. Well, let's talk to Dr. Timo Pasha, uh, who works in trauma and orthopaedics. He joins us now. A very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It is an astonishing statistic, actually, that we've got more coronavirus cases now than ever in the pandemic. But is that a worrying thing or because it's a different uh, strain of the virus now, is it not so worrying? How do you feel about it? Well, um, with this particularly, it's quite surprising to have this number of cases at this point in time, because now that the rules have changed, um, people are adhering to the living with COVID plan. So the number will actually increase because kids are having their Easter holidays right now. And apart from that, things are returning to normal, whether that is by traveling and the easing of restrictions or if it is just people mingling with each other a little bit more. So the numbers will increase, but because the testing will reduce because people will have to start paying um, the general public, the numbers might not reflect it. However, in the hospitals, we will see definitely a huge impact. And so, I mean, what, what impact does that have on the NHS? Because we, we know hospitalizations in serious cases are, are much lower in comparison to the infection rates because of the vaccines and what have you. But is it still putting a strain on the NHS? Yes, for sure, because the protocols are different in the different hospitals. So if someone does have COVID, for example, you would be treated in a side room previously. However, now with the new guidance, we will have to see what the hospitals are saying. And this has caused a massive backlog in the elective cases, which are the cases that happen non-urgently. And we're seeing the effects for the past few months where people have to wait months on end to get their appointments. And now with more and more people being exposed to COVID, we don't actually know what will happen. And now today as well, parents in England can book uh, the vaccination for their young children, children as young as five at the moment. Um, what, what's been the response as far as you know um, from parents? Are they still very worried about children that young having the vaccine or are they going to come forward? What would your advice be to them? Mm. So many parents were initially quite apprehensive about this. However, many studies showed that the COVID vaccine is safe even during pregnancy, straight after pregnancy. And there's been a massive campaign running this as well, encouraging people to take the vaccine. So far, many people have had the vaccines and the trials that have happened have shown it is safe. So we should follow the government guidelines and try and get our vaccines because it will protect our most vulnerable patients, which are the elderly and the immunocompromised. OK, Dr. Patcher, really good to talk to you this morning. Thanks very much. Yes, thank you.